If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a question, comment, suggestion, or maybe you just want to find out more information about the product, you can find the link below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds with 3GameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Antec Cooler H20 650 Liquid CPU Cooler. The box is very colorful, it has lots of pictures as well as features and specifications about the product on it, even some results. Plus, it is wrapped in plastic which is excellent because you know it has never been opened before. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It comes in this environmentally friendly packaging which is excellent. Styrofoam at the top. They include a user's manual. And an air duct, all the materials needed for installation, and the unit itself, which is in this plastic bag, and the block has a cap over it, and you can remove that, of course, before installing it. This is just to protect it in shipment. Now, this product is compatible with all current AMD and Intel motherboards, and I'll list on the screen which sockets this cooler is compatible with so you can be 100% sure it's going to work for you. Now, this is an ALC, or Advanced Liquid Cooling System, and it is completely sealed, so there's no maintenance required, no refills, and there's no risk of leaks. Now, since it's completely configured, there's no need for any extra installation like traditional water cooling kits. By combining the water block, pump, reservoir, and radiator together, it reduces the traditional four component loop into one component. And this substantially decreases the space required for installation and it simplifies the installation process over traditional water cooling kits. Now in this compact unit you have the cold plate and the electronics and it measures in at one inch or 26 millimeters in height. Now this is pretty cool. The Antec logo actually glows and changes the RGB LED based on temperature which is excellent because it's a fantastic visual indicator of CPU temperature. The CPU block is all copper and as you can see it is super reflective so it's smooth and that means it will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. The block also comes with a thin coat of thermal compound which takes the guesswork out of applying it yourself. There are two connections and both of these are labeled as well. Note how these cables are flat and flexible. With most ALCs the pump is mounted on the water block but in this case it's mounted to the fan which in turn is attached to the radiator and this has two advantages. With the pump being closer to the radiator, it means it should improve cooling performance since it can move the liquid through the radiator quicker. Also, since vibrations are symptomatic of pumps, it won't cause anything to vibrate on the motherboard. Now, the tubes are filled with safe, environmentally friendly, anti-corrosive liquid, and the tubes themselves are very flexible and durable. They measure 11.8 inches or 300 millimeters in length, which should be more than enough for most cases since it normally gets installed at the back or the top of the case. And these tubes are reinforced at the water block as well as the radiator end. Of course, this is to keep them nice and secure so they are not going to disconnect either from the radiator or the water block. The 120 millimeter radiator that's included has lots of fins and it comes with an integrated quiet PWM or pulse width modulation 120 millimeter fan with a flat flexible four pin power connection. Note as well that the firmware automatically adjusts the fan speed anywhere from 600 to 2400 RPMs. Now the fan on this is designed to actually blow the warm air out of your case so just make sure that the cooling inside of your case is good because of course it's going to be drawing cool air from inside of your case. Now you can choose to add an optional 120 millimeter fan here if you want to or you can put Put on the fan duct that they've included and this will give you a little bit better performance when it gives you that space between the radiator itself and the back or the top of the case. Now of course if you can't fit it in that particular location you can just use it like this and mount it on the back and they include varying lengths of screws to accommodate this. Finally have a listen to the fan and the pump. It's super quiet. To give you some idea how loud the fan is at maximum RPMs, have a listen.
ALCs or advanced liquid coolers is really the way to go, especially if you're an enthusiast and you want to overclock your CPU. Now, before I forget, this particular unit comes with a three year warranty. So install it and pretty much forget it. Remember, it is completely sealed and it's really one complete unit instead of, you know, the old kind of style four component loop. Water cooling is the way to go, especially this kind of setup. The ALCs or advanced liquid coolers fit somewhere between a really good CPU air cooler and the traditional water cooling setup. If you want the best cooling, go with, you know, water cooling in the traditional form where you've got a number of different components, the tubes, the radiators, and all that kind of stuff. But it does require some experience to install it, it takes much, much longer to install. And as well, with the traditional water cooling setup, you know, you're getting involved with maintenance as well. This is really a no brainer. It is affordable, performs extremely well, and is easy to install. Overall, this is a kick ass product. Until the next time, take care. How do you think this product stacks up? To vote, head on over to 3dgameman.com. And while you're there, check out the pricing.